brethren in the Lord, join us in praising our Lord as we sing from Cherubim and Seraphim hymn book number 257. Lift up your hands, all you guys. Let me just be frank with you. It takes us a few years, and it's unbelievable that this will have accomplished within a very short period. My own belief, personally to me, is it's not we that constructed this church. I believe it's God himself that descended down and erected this edifice for us. Lift up your heads, O ye gates of the Lord. Let the King of Glory in. The, the, the previous cathedral was good as well, but we are scared. We don't want to record any casualties in terms of death because the processions have been weakened. But now the elders now put it together that instead of the government to take possession of this, it's better we do a new thing and make the necessary discussion when it's available. And that's it. what led to this edifice. But you look at the structures, like I've told you, like I've told you. This is not human making. This is God's doing, and it is marvelous. Nobody can estimate it. If you say 600 million, we are underestimating. Because if you look at the quality things that they use, the, the material that were used were quality. And we know what qualities and taste is it. You know how much they're exchanging dollars now? 368 to a, a dollar. Can you quantify? By the time you multiply that to get to this figure, you know it's not going to be a very simple thing. It's a very huge amount. If I say 600 million, I think I'm underestimating. And that was why I said initially, this is God doing and it is marvelous. Me, I don't believe it is we that does it, but God came down and directed the structures for us. Prepare us a place of gold. Hosanna, O ye heaven. Highly, greatly, greatly, greatly. You see, this, the, the, the prophets say, the, the man of God, the disciples of Christ says, what can we do for you? Money we do not have, the power we do not have, but all we can just say to you is stand up and be walking. That is the greatest thing. And we want to appreciate everybody who has contributed, including the press, far and near from US, UK, whatever. They come down, they contributed to their token, supported us spiritually to make this uh, program a huge success. So we say big thank you to them, and the Lord shall be with them, protect them. Enlarge their family, enlarge their business. Mercies of the Lord shall be with them throughout the day of our life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, we of the world. Holy Spirit, we have it here. Whatever problem, whatever comfort, uh, situation you might be finding yourself, all you not need, come in there, kneel down, and talk to God. God will definitely answer because this is where God lives, Mount Zion. And this is where God dwells. And God is still there. And there for us. Fly. Praise the Lord for He is kind. For His mercies are endure. Ever faithful, ever sure. Normally, this cathedral is going to be strictly air conditioned. We want pleasure for our people when you are worshipping. Be comfort, be rest assured. And not only that, that is the clinic. We have the clinic there. We have the Deputy Babaladra office. We don't have it formally, but we had it now. And that is part of improvement. Then we are, we are about embarking on computer uh, training institute, uh, institute for our children so that they can be computer literate. And you can see things are going on very, very far in this church.